At number 5, Oppo Reno 8T. The 108MP camera here provides a ton of detail. I went out to KL again to take a couple of shots, you know, street photography. I try to do that a lot these days. At number 4, Moto Edge 40 Neo. At number 3, TechnoSpark 20 Pro Plus. This is TechnoSpark 20 Pro Plus. The phone comes with 6.78 inches AMOLED curved display, with 120 Hz of high refresh rate. Very bright display with 1000 nits brightness, providing very clear view in outdoor condition. Display offer FHD resolution with 393 pixel density. Phone has in-display fingerprint sensor. Also has a feature of dynamic bar, which show charging animation and note of catons. It has a protection F Corning Glass 5 on front, as well as IP53 rating to protect from dust and splashes. Very beautiful ultra slim curved display phone in this price segment. Phone built with vegan leather and plastic back with 179 gram net weight. 400% big stereo speaker. It support dual 4G SIM card but there is no SD card option. For gaming purpose it comes with MediaTek Helio G99 chipset. The Antuta score is 4 lakh plus which is equal to Spark 20 Pro. The Geekbench is also good. Phone has 108 megapixel main camera with 0.08 megapixel auxiliary lenses. In camera segment. Very decent shots come out in daylight condition. The colors are very precise and sharp. These are some samples of main camera. Macro mode work well. 
It enable you to zoom up to 3x. You can record max 2K video at 30 frame per second. Video quality is really good and smooth. Phone has 32 megapixel selfie shooter. The phone runs Android 14 and packed with 8GB RAM and 256GB of storage capacity. Powered by 5000 mAh battery with 33 watt fast charge. At number 2, Vivo V29e. As far as performance is concerned, it manages to handle itself and while gaming also, it manages to give you a smooth and stable experience. We did feel a little bit of lag in games like Call of Duty, where uh, just switching between At number 1, Moto Edge 45.